Hello guys, Salman Nassim here. Welcome to fourth tutorial of Character Creator series. Today we'll see how to model our character within Adobe Fuse, which is free character creator by Adobe. So we'll discover it how to model our character within Adobe Q, Adobe Fuse, how to customize it, and how to assign clothes to our character. Take it to Maximo for the auto for auto rigging and animations, and finally and finally bring it to Blender. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Okay, we'll start working with Adobe Fuse. On our right side, we have uh, options to select the head of our character. We'll select this Tone Mail A. We'll select this. It automatically added. Once the head is visible, we have option to select the torus. We'll select the first option from here. Once we click it, it, it will automatically add it there. And we'll select the legs. And finally the hands, arms. Once it's ready, we'll go for the customization. In, in a customization, we have many options to customize each and everything related to our character. For example, if I select this, on the top we have two sliders which automatically affect these properties. For example, if I toggle over here, you can you can observe the change within our character and we have more deep options on a downside like we can customize the chest and the back and the butt from there we'll test with the arms also like i can select this we have option to make it bigger or smaller and same option for the triceps also and secondly uh, if we see on a downside we have options to make it long make it short make it short or long same goes for leg and other properties. Lastly, we we'll test it with the face. I will select this. For example, if I want to adjust the cheeks of our character, I'll select from there. Whatever we change with the help of these sliders, it automatically affect our character. Once it's finalized, we'll go for clothing. In a clothing, we'll first add top. I'll select this leather jacket. Next, we'll go for bottom. I'll select this one from there. Now we go. Now it goes for shoes. I'll select this boot one, boots one. Next option is for the hairs. Our character already have texture hairs, so it's not a good approach to add the hairs on within that character. We'll go for we'll go for beard. I'll select this beard from here, and we can add mask from there. As for the cover 19, we can add the cover 19 mask from there. Okay, once it's finalized, we'll go for textures. In a textures. We can edit anything related to the textures of our character. For example, if I select this, the all textures of our character is automatically visible at the downstairs. If I just select this and change the color of our, or any textures and click OK, you can see the change within our character. Once our character is finalized, we'll save the file from there, save and click on send Maximo. It will take some time to upload it on Maximo. It will directly take us to auto rigging tool of Maximo, which is super handy and super easy to rig our character. Once we have this, we have enable, we can enable or disable the facial balance shape. I'll enable it and click on update rig. The benefit of this enabling facial blend shape is that we'll got extra, we'll get extra shape keys to work on the face of our character. Now it's finalized. I'll click on finish and use this character click on use this character we can download any file from there but we'll go for animate here on our left side we have numbers of animation which allow us to select anything and the or character or character will have this animation for example if i select this hip hop hip hop dancing or character will have this animation once we have this we'll click on download and download the apx file the downloading is finished now we'll go for blender and click on import import apx we'll have this character in in a blend blender viewport i'll select the default cube and well once we check it you can see that our character have all the animation which we are seeing over there and we'll check the textures by going to render view and uh, make it a little bit brighter from here 
and you can see our character has these textures also. That is all for today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe Being Animator YouTube channel. See you in the next video.